Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Did you see the video? Yes, I, I saw, but it's, it's cruel. Really, you think? But it was very famous. <laughs> anyway, I always think of that. <laughs> but uh, it's two years ago. Yeah, it's an old video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Trinil. laughs> Hi, Mauricio. How are you doing? Can I? Yeah, I cannot hear you. Sorry. Hi, how are I you? Mute. Hello. Nice. Everything good? Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, usually every day so so. <laughs> but it's 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 uh, everything it's okay. Same as usual. Huh? Same as usual. Same as usual. Uh-huh. Yes. You have a nice background there, like an office kind of setting. It's a room. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Like, kind it's, of looks like that. It's the room of my, of, of my son, but he he don't live here, and oh. and and I in in right now it's my office. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> ah, okay. I thought that was your chair. <laughs> uh -huh. No. Bed. No, it's it, it's a it, it's a room, the yeah. room of the baby. <laughs> <laughs> No longer a baby, probably, but yeah. No, no, it's not long. <laughs> Hi, Jose Luis, welcome. Uh, All right. Well, the four of us can start. We're going to start the new section tonight by learning how to use the future, okay? Can you read the objective, please, Elizabeth? Okay. Um, the future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert as a statement to the future tense. Mm -hmm. English teach joy science explains there's two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple formula. Ask and answer questions using going to and will as auxiliary verbs and practice discussing your future plans, for example, an upcoming vacation holidays with family, or even your plans for later in the day. Yeah, for later in the day. So this, the pronunciation of this is hopes. Hopes. Yes, okay. because we had two verbs, okay? Hop is a frog, hops, okay? And then hope is when you want something to happen. So that is, this is hop and this is hope, okay? So okay. on that, let me see what else do I need to emphasize here about future plans step by step. And, and this is vacation, guys. Vacation. Vacation. Yes, this is later. Later, later. in the day. Yes, all right. So we're going to learn uh, how to talk about the future using will and using going to. You will see what the difference is. Please take notes on both of them, the structures and the difference in meaning. All right, let's watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm 
I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call them tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to f France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're going to, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you were thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I am going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, That's what I want to express. Um, and so in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. And then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of 
what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. Yeah. So what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right. The expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably, okay? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game. All right, and so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. Uh, I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle, okay? I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now, if you look at, let's say, the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take... Okay, we're not going to discuss... Hold on. This is not... All right. We're not going to discuss those questions, but different ones, okay? So let me see if you remember how to form the, the answer is with going to, okay? So you're gonna use going to plus the verb, the verb in the base form, meaning no conjugation, right? And you're gonna use will, and also the verb form with, I mean, the verb in the base form with no conjugation, okay? This is how you're gonna use it. So I will ask you a question. Let me send them to you because we're going to discuss. Um, hold on. So the first question says, it should be easy. Present perfect versus past simple was more difficult than this guy. So it shouldn't be a problem. All right. The first one says, where, no, sorry. What are you going to do after class? Okay. That is the first question on WhatsApp. I sent the picture. So it says, what are you going to do? to do after class. Okay, so one thing, if you are sure of the answer, I want you to use going to, if you're sure. If you are not sure, I would like you to use will, all right? Okay, so for example, uh, Alan, what are you going to do after class? Alan? Wait, wait, ah, uh, sorry, my mic was off. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep. And you're sure, 100%. Uh, ah, okay, uh, I'm going to brush my teeth. <laughs> that you're sure of, okay. Then I, yeah, then I will go to, to sleep. Uh, so if you're not sure, I would like you to use will, all right? 
I'm not sure, but you have to use one of the expressions. For example, what are the expressions we can use with will? We're gonna say, I think, what else? I guess, maybe. Okay. maybe, what else? Probably, I probably. probably. I probably. probably, and then you put will. These you put at the beginning. This one you put it between, between, I probably will. And I think that's it. So if you're sure, I'm going to do this. If you're not sure, say, I think, I guess, maybe, and will. Is that clear? Yeah. One of those. Yeah. So let's answer all the questions here, discuss them, and try to use both, please. Try to use going to and try to use will with the expression. All right, ready? Okay. Uh -huh. Practice in small groups of three. Okay, here it is. Accept the invitation, please. Let's get speaking. Let's begin. I will take a bath. Um, I will brush my teeth. Okay. Um, so if you're sure, say I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to. I'm take a bath. going to. If you're not sure, say I think I will. Maybe I will. So I sent you the other image here. So you use if you're sure the yellow form. If you're not sure, the expressions with will in the green one. All right. Okay. To guide yourself. <laughs> um, it was horrible. For example, I I think um, I think I I I'll go. Yeah, no, I will. I see. I I'll do. Homework for my daughter. Okay. Oh no, it's late. Yes. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Okay. And you, Jose Luis? I probably will uh, go to the bed at. Uh, 11 p.m. Yeah, probably me too. <laughs> probably I will at, at the same time. <laughs> okay, well, what are you what going time? to do? Uh -huh. Okay, sorry. No, no, what go. Time go are ahead. you going to get up? Uh, what time are you going to get up tomorrow morning, Raul? What um, probably I I will get up at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Yeah. Oh, lucky, lucky guy. Nice. <laughs> lucky guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you, yeah. Alan, what time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? Oh, I, I don't know really, but probably I will at the same time that... Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, well, but we will, the next, the, ne the second question is, uh, what time are you going to, ah, well, this, what time are you going to bed tonight? No, it's okay. It's ten you already, thirty. Yeah, at ten thirty, no. And what time I are you going? To... I what time don't... are you going? Hi, Hi Elvin. Hello, how are you? 
Number three. Yeah. Question yeah. number three. Thank you. What time? And what about you? What about you, Anna? What What time are you going and to get case, up tomorrow morning? And my guests are going to uh, get up uh, at six a.m. Because if not that or uh, I am too late in my work. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, what time do you, do you start to work? Maybe one hour. I I I have um. I I am a person. <laughs> huh. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Raúl. Huh? What are you going to go to do tomorrow morning? Uh, maybe I I will go I will go to to the mall. I, what time are you gonna wake up? Um um I think I'll wake up um for 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 with yes for 15 a.m at 4 13 oh, or 4 30 or no 4 4 30 no, 4 30 okay thanks so <laughs> Because I I, I cook my lunch and, and, and <laughs> my husband's lunch too. Nice you you are you going to to cook a uh, gourmet, a gourmet <laughs> or something like that? No. Only, it's only normal. cook a uh, 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 Mauritian soup. No. You will. For, for tomorrow, I I will cook um, fish with rice. It's normal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's delicious. I didn't know where I didn't know with that you are married. Why? I, I don't understand you, Victor. I told you that I didn't know that you were married. <laughs> don't you understand? No sabía no. que estabas casada. Oh. Okay. okay. Where are you going to do what are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? Tomorrow afternoon. I think I I think I I I go to visit up uh, my father. I go to visit my father. And you Anna? Uh, what are you going to go to work after? The afternoon. Always, I am going to work. Okay. Sorry. I think that on a school reopening projects of my work. Ah, nice. Yes. Okay. Only. Well, well, I am going to. I want to. I'm going to do what I'm going to do tomorrow morning. I'm going to to go to my work at eight o'clock. So so, first I I have to take I take a shower and after that mm -hmm. I'm going to to stay in my office at eight eight thirty. Yeah. And you. Uh, Sorry, Maurice, you're gonna. Stay in the office or be in the office at 8 30. I I'm I'm being in my office at 8 30. Uh -huh. I'm going to be in my office at 8 30. Very good. That's better. 
Okay, I'm going to be in my office. Okay. Right. And next is what okay. are you going to do? No, it's a, it's a, we have to, we have to hear uh, uh, Antonio. Ah, sorry, Antonio. <laughs> Ellington. <laughs> Okay, it's no problem. Ah, yes, Antonio, some, yeah. <laughs> Elito Antonio. <laughs> okay. Uh, in my case, uh, tomorrow after eight, uh, I will be a meeting all morning in my work. Okay. You're sure? Say, I'm going okay. to be in a meeting. Okay, I'm going to be. Yeah, yes. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to okay, go back you. now. Let's go. Okay. All right, you guys practice both, right? Will and going to. Mm. Yes. No. Mm, yes. <laughs> All right, great. Oh, will. <laughs> Try. Yeah. No, and when I heard you, you were saying, I think I will. So that's the way you're supposed to use it or with going to. So, I mean, that's fine. Okay. So I want to give you some additional information because this is not explained in the platform, but I will try to. I'll try to share that information with you, okay? So since we're seeing going to and will, I will teach you what the difference is, all right? So we have both. If they both indicate future, what is the difference between the two of them? Versus will. Do you have any idea on what the differences are? Going to and will. Mm. I think that the, the going to is for arrangement or something like that. Sure. Yeah, when you're sure about your plans, this is what we were practicing, right? And this is when you were sure that is one. Sure. Uh huh. So, guys, when people say there is this song that says, and okay, I don't want to sing that. <laughs> you know this song, right? I will always love you. <laughs> you know the song, but don't, but sing don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> sing it for us, Alan. <laughs> Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> I will always love you. It's from Bon Jovi, right? No, 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 no. Mariah yeah. Carey, I think. I don't know. I will always love you. No, Whitney yeah, Houston. Yeah, that one. Uh, Whitney Houston, yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so what this is, is a promise. This is a promise. Okay. And when politicians say, I will fix i will repair the street this is also a promise okay? that's a lie they use, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they use future with will so you ah, can okay. use this to tell lies right now <laughs> yeah that's another way of making. we will repair the streets promise. and we will be the best ones we won't steal money from you right politicians okay. use will <laughs> okay will will they they use a lot of that Word. Uh huh. It's just okay. will, will, right? So those are promises. Okay, you're gonna use will. Then when you have plans and you're sure, uh, plans that are like anticipated, you have taken your time to think about them. You're gonna use won't going to, and when you have oh, okay. quick decisions. Not a plan, but just like improvising something, you're going to use will. So will is more like insecure than going to. Going to is always more certain in all areas, okay? So also predictions with going to. If you make predictions will. with going to, it's because you have evidence. And when you make predictions with will, it's when you have no evidence. So you see will is like, hmm, nothing is stable with will, all right? So what is an example of a prediction with no evidence? If I say, um, let me see who, Anna, Anna, let me, <laughs> hold on. If I say, Anna, let me, let me read the bottle and see what it says about your future. Okay. And I say, you will be rich next year. Okay. That is a prediction <laughs> with no evidence. All right. So I'm going to use will not going to. Okay, those are some of the differences. Or the signing. 
or the sign zodiac. Zodiac. Uh, based on the zodiac sign, you will be very happy <laughs> next year. <clears throat> very happy next year. So no evidence. I'm gonna use will next year. All right. Those are some of the uh, differences. I also had this year, which is basically the same. I will send this to you, right? But it's what I just explained. You see prediction with evidence, prediction based on personal opinion or experiences, right? This immediate decision is the improvised decision that I was talking about. Okay, so based on this information, I would like you to do this exercise and decide whether you have to use will or going to, okay? I'll send it to you. Let me send it here to the chat and then WhatsApp. Any questions? No. All right. Let me see. Hold on. Let me send it here first. One second. Chat. Here it is. Okay. Here's the link. Let's work in small groups of three. Or in pairs. Okay. Accept the invitation, please, and decide which one you should be using. Yes. In a moment. Sure, charger. Charger. Okay. I don't know. My internet is broken. Is... <laughs> okay. Okay. Number one, Philip. Philips. 15 next Philips. Wednesday. Uh, Philip will be. B. Will be. Uh, will. They are going to, uh -huh, going to a new. Yep. Well. You need the verb be though. You said I am. How, is the, how is the first? To, you are going to, they are going to. You need the verb be with going to always. Philip will be 15 next Wednesday. 15 well, is like a birthday or? Yeah, yeah, 15 years old is what it means. You can simply say 15, that's fine. Will be 15 next year, next Wednesday, mm -hmm. okay. They, and the other the second is the it's como his birthday yeah no his age so that age will be uh-huh you can say 15 years old or just 15 i can say i'm 28 years old or i'm 28 it's okay i can omit okay. the years old okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. next wednesday okay. uh-huh we'll we'll why Oh, if you use will, don't use to. Will. Will like. Will like. Mm -hmm. That's it. Will get. But we, we, we can use both, right? Because yeah. in the number two. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. So we can say they are going to get. Right. Yeah, we don't know, so it could be either or. It's going to have. It's going to have. 
going to have yeah a baby oh, sister is going to have they they um, are going to arrive okay, it's about about for they are Please. will they what will be around and the, and the tree and the tree and the tree i think my mother will like this cd or because uh, no you have two to like no without two just without. will like yeah there is an additional space can you delete it maybe and you cannot combine our will no will arrive or are going to arrive either or In what? In what number? Number five. In number oh. five. They are they going will. to arrive. They are going, going to. Are going to arrive at about four in this afternoon. Right? Uh huh. Exactly. <clears throat> Just a moment. I. Okay. Next week, Marvin will go. Oh. Party next week. But... It's a proba uh, probability because he can die after the week. <laughs> mm. yeah. So, from the night to the June, we are going. We are going to fly. Mm -hmm. Look at that. We are going to use a going to, right? Going to. We do, when we don't know, is we will use will. And will. They will. No, it, it's it, no, they going. They are going. They are going. They are going, huh? They are going to get. They are going to get, they are going to get. Mm -hmm. They are going to get a new computer. A new computer. Yes. I, I think, think my mother yeah. will like. Because you don't we know, like. you, you, you think. You are I, not sure. Yes, 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 yes. It's true. Okay. We we like will this like. CD. Okay. Both sisters. Sisters. Is going, going to have to have yes. <laughs> they, they 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 will they will be arrive. They will be arrive. They will they will arrive. They will arrive. They will arrive at. The, they will uh, arrive at. That's it. Mm -hmm. okay. It will arrive. Okay. Just yes, a moment. I going. I'm going uh, to help. I I'm, I I I I am going to help you. I'm going to help you. To help. I'm going Okay, I would like us to check the answers together and find the explanation, okay? So for the first one, and if you didn't finish, please submit it, all right? So that you know what percentage you got. All right, some of these exercises are unfair because they don't give you enough information for you to find out. But the first one is Philip will be 15 next weekend, next Wednesday. Why is it will be? This is something I didn't tell you guys, sorry, so. The reason why is because it's an event that happens without your influence, okay? When something happens and you do nothing about it, 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 you have to use will. So this is something I didn't tell you, all right? That's why in this case, it has to be will, not going to because it's not your plan. It's something that just happens. Is that clear? Okay. 
All right, number two. This, if you have will or going to, it's okay because we don't know if they're sure. We don't know if it's a plan, so. But we're going to assume it's a plan. So we're going to say going to, okay? I think, you know that with, I think we have to use will, right? Okay. And number four is Paul's sister is going to have a baby. So this is a plan. It's obvious and it has influence from the person, of course, okay? They will arrive supposedly, guys. This, if you have will or going to, it's okay for me because it could be a prediction or it could be a plan, right? So both answers are Please. correct. Yes? One question. Because in the, uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, down the, okay. And the two is they are, but in five, they, uh, we put they are will. Only Why uh, in five, they are, is not? Yeah, because you're going to use the going to and the verb or will and the verb. So you cannot combine this structure with this structure. You said R will, you cannot combine it like that. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, you're gonna use B with, the, get... with going to. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Okay. Yes, and uh, you're welcome. Let me see what else. We are, this is a plan. We're going to fly, that's a plan. And this, do you have evidence? If you say, hey, it's going to rain, is that evidence or without evidence? Clouds. Uh -huh. The clouds are your evidence that it's going to rain. Maybe they're dark, right? And this is a prediction with no evidence. You cannot anticipate the future, right? Well, in 2040, people will do this and that. That is a prediction. You have no evidence. It's not sure, okay? So it's a very confusing topic, but if you have this, I would say, uh, let me see. I will take a picture of this. A something that happens without your influence, a prediction with no evidence. So if you have this, it should be easier, all right? So let me send you a picture. And now what I want us to practice is only will, making predictions using will. <clears throat> let me send this to you. There it is. So we're gonna practice making predictions with this, for example, it says, will you ever be happy with your level of English? All right, that's like a prediction. <laughs> will you ever earn the amount of money you'd like to? What are your personal predictions about these events? All right, that is the speaking practice. So one person is going to be student A, the other person, we're going to work in pairs. The other person will be student B. Okay, so you ask these questions and A asks these questions so we're only going to use will right now is that clear i will send you the yeah. link okay let's practice in pairs let me send it here and let's work in pairs hold on hmm. <clears throat> all right accept the invitation please let me send you the link I can hear you. I think I you're like, hearing me. What are you saying? <laughs> Hi, me. Hi. Hi. Sure. Okay. Uh, we have to answer the question, right? Yeah. If you want, I share the screen. Teacher, we can can't hear you. Caffeine. Wait. What? What is this? Ah, okay. Students, a square, a question. Do not show this to the student. <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay. But you can you can discuss those questions. It's okay. Sorry, I'm sleepy. I'm tired. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, you look tired there, but thank you for being in class and not sleeping right now. So I appreciate yeah. that. 
sorry. Let's discuss these questions. It's okay. Will you ever be happy? No. Will you earn the amount of money you'd like to? Mm. I don't think will I will ever, ever earn the amount of money, money you'd like to. Earn the amount. 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 La cantidad de will dinero. Will you ever earn to earn? Oh, I think the, there are times when I feel like I don't understand. Do you want? And the number two mm -hmm. is, will you ever earn the amount? Okay. Uh, in in, the, in that uh, teacher uh, help us for example uh, will you ever be happy with your level of english it's uh, we we'll have to to discuss about that yes i'm i'm happy about my level or not i'm not happy of uh -huh. it's your opinion and the predictions in the future about the questions so you have to say i think i will be happy one day or i think i won't be happy I will not be happy. Okay. So it's about the future. About the future. Okay. Predictions I'm... and opinions using oh, the okay. will. Hmm? Using the will. Okay. Using will, okay. on the will. On the will, okay. I think I get uh, enough. And you I my case, uh, me too. Uh, I think someday I I will be a, a, earn the amount of money, <laughs> but right now no. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you going to do, Anna, to make the amount of money you want? What are your Sorry? plans? What are your plans to make more money? Um, um maybe. Uh, uh, Anna, uh, <laughs> we're losing Anna. <laughs> She's like falling. Hi, um, Hold on, Raul. I'm gonna send it to another group, and I will move her as well. Okay. okay. Let me see who needs you. Jose Luis and Victor. Two, three. All right, accept the invitation, Ron. From 15 million. I think that Garbale and uh, Messi. No, but uh, just, just playing. And they have some companies and they earn for, uh, what is the word? El patrocinio. I don't know how to say patrocinio. Partners. So, uh, no, partners. I don't remember what is the word, but they earn for patrocinios and the companies. Uh, playing soccer, they're rich. Yeah, the conclusion, all people want <laughs> her more <Her>. money. Yeah. <laughs> want her more money, yes. Um, okay, so the step three. Will you ever find the true happiness for both Raul or Victor? Will you ever keep up to that habits? Um, uh, my okay. Mary, will you ever find true happiness? Y solo, solo difíciles me han tocado. <laughs> Philosophy. I am happy and grateful for to God. I am happy because I am grateful. Great, 
I'm going to a happy. I'm going to happy. Is this okay? Yeah. I'm going to happy. I'm going to be happy. Although this is a prediction, so you can say I will be happy. I will be no. happy. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a, it's a plan. <laughs> no, it's no, it's my plan. I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm already happy. Okay, great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can say that. I I don't. I don't know. I teacher. What does that mean with? Our... Will you ever give up your bad give habits? Up. It's a, what give does up. that mean? The meaning of give up is rendirse. And in this case, it's abandonar your bad habits. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Will no, you ever give no, up I, your bad I, habits, Elinton? No, I, I will. I don't know. I, I not will. I will not. I will not. Uh, I don't know. It's, 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 <laughs> you will please. not. You will not give up your bad habits. And yes. your bad habit is what? Uh -huh. <laughs> the, What's your bad the habit? Drink or uh, the drink or what? Huh? <laughs> what is no, your no. bad habit? <laughs> huh? Okay. No. I. I will be no habit. Okay. Uh, I will not. Okay. <clears throat> I will not. I will not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I think. Uh, I think I will. I think I will. I will get up. My bad habit that not. Not to finish the read the the red book, not to finish my books. Because, <laughs> uh, that's a bad habit. I. It's it's a yeah. Yes, I will. I will give up my bad habits. <laughs> I have a I have a bad habit like uh, it smooth it, wheel. Eat a lot of, I eat much <laughs> in, eat in much. the night. Oh. Eat too much in the in the in the dinner. The, uh -huh. Okay. The dinner, the dinner. We eat too much pupusas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And you, Victor? Or, or Mexican food. Yes. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to ask you some of the questions. <clears throat> Simply say, yes, I will, or no, I will not. Okay, that is a negative form, will not. All right. Will, will not. Okay. Will you ever? Yes, I will. will. you ever earn the amount of money you would like? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I will, or no, I won't. You can say, or won't, will not. Yeah. No, I won't. No, I won't. No, no, I won't. I think I won't. Will you ever no, find no, true no, happiness? <laughs> yeah, we we are discussing that. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. All right. Yeah, sometimes. Will we ever find the answer to the meaning of life? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, I will not. <laughs> no, I won't. No, right? <laughs> probably when we are dying. <laughs> that moment. Okay. Probably. <laughs> okay. probably in that moment. Yeah, maybe, right? It, it will be like, mm, now that I know I'm dying, too late. Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> too late. <laughs> But I know. <laughs> right, exactly. That's good. That's something. You're right, Ellen. Okay. Will you ever stop studying? No. I will. No. I hope. I hope I won't. I hope. I hope I, hope, I, hope I won't. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's good. Um will the world ever be at peace? 
<laughs> no. No, it won't. No, it won't. I don't think so either. Those are personal okay. predictions, right? With no evidence. So we have no idea. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Next week, we're going to finish. All right. So please work on the platform and try to be on time with everything updated. All right. Okay. Take care. See okay. you on have Monday. A, have, a, a new, uh, have a good weekend. Have yes. a good night and good weekend. Take okay, care. Yes. All right. Good night. 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 Good night.